at the moment Australia is going through like a coal rush, trying to approve as many mines as possible. And right now, coal mines are responsible for more land clearing than anybody else. This uh, hill where the mine's going to be is a source of water for the aquifers, as are all the hills in this district. We're terribly concerned that there's going to be uh, impacts to the underground water supply. This is a tree line that we planted here. Usually when we plant tree lines we make sure that they are a variety that the koala likes to eat and as you can see it's working. If this goes ahead then um, it could open up the way for more mines in this area and contaminate the water and uh, create enough dust to make sure that no koalas would want to ever again live here. Climate change affects the koalas quite dramatically. In 2009, we had a major heat wave. Now, koalas can cope with a hot, hot day, but after that, they were found dead or dying at the base of trees. We lost at least a quarter of the population. Koalas can't get away. The population has not recovered from the 2009 heat wave. After some of the severe climate events in 2010-2011, we've got an increased uh, prevalence of disease. We're trying to look at whether there's any uh, cause and effect between those. We weigh the animal and then sedate the animal. Once we've sedated the animal, we start to collect specimens. We place a collar on, on the animal. The collar's got uh, GPS tracking and um, a radio tracking capacity. So we place the collar on, um, just prior to release. Kanada is known as koala capital of the world. Imagine if the koala capital of the world had no koalas. Imagine if Australia lost its koalas on our watch. It's kind of immoral, really, when you think about it, to remove old growth remnant woodland and replace it with a coal mine. Why would you want to damage the agricultural ability of this soil for a stinking dirty coal mine? Basically with this mine I think the Australian government is too scared to tell the Chinese no. Now what's the next generation going to say if we allow this mine to occur here and destroy the underground water? Future generations are going to look back at us and say you should have done more. People are so angry, they will do anything to stop this mine.